Good afternoon everyone, Sean here with the National Institute of Firearms and today we're going to get a quick look at a standoff gone wrong. So first off, I have to start with the intentions of the police officers. Those officers were there to issue Sierra Howard, the uh, person, the female that was shot in this vi in this video. They were there to issue an arrest warrant for her for missing parole, and they were there for several hours before this video trying to talk to her to get her to come out of that room. Now at some point, something in that situation changed, causing the police officers to forcefully enter that bedroom where they noticed that she was brandishing a handgun. Of course, she decided to not listen to commands multiple times that they had made in order for her to drop the firearm. Uh, and in fact, if you pause the video, you can actually see that she is aiming it at the door and the officers. Now, I don't know if there was anything else that the officers could have done to prevent this outcome. However, I do know that Sierra Howard could have. If she would have followed instructions, of course, not pointed the firearm at the officers, and slowly set the firearm down when they entered, things could have been completely different. Now, if you have any thoughts on what could have been done by the police officers or Sierra Howard herself in order to change the outcome of the events, make sure you leave those in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.